Alrighty folks, Seppo Payu here again, coming at you guys with my, I believe, seventh vlog of the second season. <clears throat> so today we're gonna talk about discs. I love frisbees, overall, all kinds of frisbees, disc off discs. That's one of my favorite parts of the game. And I have always liked to collect them, just, you know, get the best ones from the factory and the warehouse that I could. And uh, I always like to, collect bunch of similar run uh, I have the best discs possible for myself at least I, I truly believe that I have amazing bag I have all of the discs that I could ever need and I think that it's a, a benefit for me because I know my discs so well I have really paid attention on how they fly what kind of discs I need what kind of discs I really like so we're gonna go through uh, some of my discs that I have here so we're at my house right now and uh, these are just my discs that I use for you know myself just playing disco some of these are collectibles but not really uh, I actually have some more collectibles at my parents house but we're gonna go through these there are some collectibles that I won't throw here for example this one right here this is a X1 in 750 plastic. I bought this from a Prodigy collector and I paid $70, $70 for this. There is very limited run of yellow X1s. I also have other X1s. Let's take a better look here. So all these blue ones here are X1s. Some of them are with the Proto stamp, the early stamp. Um, I have that's with the big germ stamp and then but I personally like to use the stock stamps because they are just ever so slightly higher in the profile I feel like and uh, I just like to use these personally I decided to get a bunch of them when uh, Prodigy decided not to make these anymore but I think it's an amazing disc and I'm really happy that I have so many of them other one of my favorite drivers is a D1. I like these green ones here. I have some different runs. I have I have a lot of discs, by the way. These are all just for my personal use. I have named all the different types of discs that I have here. They're not perfectly in order, but yeah. So D1, one of my go-to drivers. All of these here are D1s that I'm able to use, that I like to use. These ones right here are, are all, no actually this is not, this is one of the old Lavender D ones. These probably also go for at least $50. But these I really like, they're all 166 to 168. Actually this one is not either, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, but these, these are what Kevin Jones also throws, these lighter weight D ones. These are just bombers, as you can see that's 167. Uh, these are really overstable actually and uh, all of those here are the lighter weight ones and I also have some lighter weight ones here I should probably put those back there and I have some some of the same discs in hot lab and my go-to driver probably is 400g uh, d1 and these are those they're just a little bit flatter in profile actually some of them are 400 but it's the pretty much the profile that matters for me they are flatter this one i got from my buddy Temo a long time ago i like flat d1s for my consistent long drives and this domier lighter weight ones i like for just bombing those long hyzers you know kind of both are overstable but differently overstable I still feel like these heavier ones are more more consistent and uh, one of my go-to drivers really has been uh, this specific one that I actually got the air shot of the year with uh, this is a really old silver lat d1 I've been using this for a long time but it's still really nice and overstable I can make it do all sorts of things I only have one backup actually I thought I I thought I had more 
I think I have one more somewhere, but whatever. Okay, let's keep going. This is going to be a long video. So everybody knows I like D2s for those crazy bombs. My signature disc from when I won the second Finnish title, I got this beautiful 400 plastic Glimmer D2. These things just look insane, don't they? Oh my God, so beautiful. These fly so far, they're extremely domey. As you can see, they just glide forever. This is one of the three that came out with no stamp. I got all of them. I have two here and I gave one to Katrina Allen, a pink one. Those are beautiful. Um, my One of my go-to drivers, everybody knows the one that I threw at Konopiste, a red 400 GD2. These are all those. The same run as all these back here. So I have a bunch of these beautiful 400 GD2s as well. One of my backups, if I ever end up losing all of those, I have four of these first core D2s, core team. This is, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Perfect shape, in my opinion, for those distant shots. Uh, so we have, a Prodigy has a lot of discs. It's just that I can't use all of them, even though I like a lot of them. But uh, let's see what's here. These I actually just recently got from my parents' house. One of those, or two of those old flat overstable D1s, both max weight. This one is one of the first discs I actually ever got from Prodigy. I also threw my first ever Prodigy Ace with this disc. It was like 130 meters. These are actually X out D3s that turned out to be so overstable that we didn't sell this in Europe. But these, I actually should give some of these to Kevin Jones. These things are insane bombers. Wow, those things. I got so, like 10 of them just because, you know, if we, if I don't come across them, I wanna have at least some of them because they are great discs, even though they're too overstable for a D3. Um, some of my favorite discs by the look are these Glimmer um, X2s that I got. These are very early. These are 750. Oh my God. <laughs> I love how this looks. These are really flat. I don't throw the X2 at the moment. I did at first when it came out, but these are just so beautiful. This one I threw for a while. It's really beautiful. I like how, how it has the ghost stamp, but it has some extra glimmer in the stamp. Oh yeah, X3, actually one of my favorite discs from Prodigy. I don't personally throw it a whole lot because I I throw harder than what this disc can possibly handle for, you know, being wanting to have a disc to fly consistently. But if you are looking for a very consistent good distance disc, X3 is a great disc for you. I have a lot of H series, a lot of these old, these are, most of these are the old H series, actually pretty much all of them. I have some of the new ones in the back. Old, old H4, oh yeah, this is beautiful. I got this from Will Susterich, as you can see, WS, H3V2, my, Absolutely one of my favorite discs at the moment. Another team stamp, Glimmer H3V2 in 400 plastic. Oh yeah, these are gorgeous. Lauri Markkanen, the only NBA player at the moment from Finland. Superstar from Chicago Bulls, plays disc golf and wanted to do a col collab with, with us and uh, this is a beautiful flyer. You can still get this from prodigystore.eu. So go get yourself some. These are also great flyers and I'll be throwing these in 2019. This is a H3V2 in 750G. It has some glimmer in it. You can't really see, but these are gorgeous. Oh my God, this, these were some of the very first Spectrum discs that Prodigy ever made. In my opinion, some of the more beautiful plastic out there. 
this is another one another very beautiful one with the team stamp also h3v2 really beautiful i thought this was just so pretty i'm not even gonna throw this it's too beautiful one of my go-to discs h1v2 this one is probably gonna go into my bag in 2019 this is a very beautiful spectrum once again i love the stamp i love the spectrum colors you know the rim is kind of clear and it has that crazy poison green in the rim just so beautiful everybody knows i like m3s these are the ones that i throw that yeah, these are my europe m3s uh 400 g from 2014 when we first started the business here in europe uh prodigy sent these as a gift and uh people love these this is some of the one of the better runs from m of m3 in my opinion they are just very consistent straight flyers and these are what people want oh my god i have so many of them my signature m3 from 2014 winning the after winning the european championships wow those are beautiful m3 is my favorite mid range such a good disc m1 is something that i do throw a lot these are all protos i like this run the most these are really flat really flat and uh, overstable uh, this these two i have been throwing a little bit if you ever watch the delaware challenge i threw the yellow m1 a lot on that whole, on that course i have a first run also these are some 750s these retros this i like this stamp a lot i don't throw this but the, this stamp is cool i have some m2s in the back here i don't throw the m2 but if you know then you know that these discs are valuable these are the test run m2s in whatever the plastic is this plastic never really came out these are just even marked m3s since uh, the m2 was first marked as m3 and then it turned out to be m2 because it was more older stable than m3 should be what we have here we have these these discs i really don't throw but uh if i ever end up throwing f3 again i have some of the i have really good f3s here a lot of them i have i do throw the f5 a lot these dyed ones are really awesome f7s i have a bunch of f7s here for rollers Okay, and then F1. I do throw the F1 a lot. I also have a nice stack of these. I've been giving these away a lot because Kevin Jones really wanted these. So I gave some of these for him. F2s. These are something that I actually bought a lot because I really find a good run that I like. It was the early runs and uh, this uh, mini stamp uh, F2s in 400 plastic. These are all of those. This, these are all those early runs. Actually, this one is Ricky's uh, signature F2 from the early days. And these are the mini stamps. These are the, what I heard, these are the first uh, custom stamps that Prodigy ever did. So I have two of those. And uh, yeah, actually, two of my old signature F3s. These are so good really beautiful and clear i remember getting these at first what a day what a day that was okay more m3s all of those were m3s all of these are m3s and those are also m3s so as i said i love the m3 uh another lauri markan and chicago bulls m3 nothing more to say so beautiful these are these are really wanted people really want these these are the very first run 750 m3s i do not throw these but i'm not gonna sell those i never really sell anything if if something i i might trade some discs but i i don't even remember when i've sold disc sold a disc uh, last time i do throw these i've had one in my bag for a couple of years these are the team europe it has all of our team players names here in the stamp i think it's really gorgeous i have two of these i've had that one in my bag for about two years now so it takes a while for 
need to break one of these in, but I'm glad I have a couple of them. All the M3s really are quite similar, so I'm not really worried about, you know, having to lose some or, you know. Uh, another disc that I've collected some, just because, I don't really know why, but M3 in 350. All of these white ones here are with the 2014 Proto stamp. Uh, these are really nice flyers. When I'm older, probably, I'll be throwing these. Not right now, I still like the 400 plastic a lot. This one is actually, yeah, number four. So this was like number four M3 in this plastic ever made. I, I have thrown it and I will throw it. Um, <laughs> these are funny. These are from my local club championships from 2014. It has really old picture of me. I don't know why they cho chose that picture. And it has my old signature as well. But those are great. 300 plastic M3. Okay. Actually, not all of these are M3s, but these are still these older M3s. And those are all PA1s, actually. Everybody knows also that I do love the PA1 uh, bleeder. Got this from... Got this one from Germ. Thanks, Germ. This one is going into my bag at, at one point. I do love the consistency of PA1. It, it flies really nice and overstable. These, oh my God, just got these last autumn. I will probably dye some of these. Probably this one. Oh my God, this is first ever putter that I got from Prodigy. This one. so beautiful <laughs> yeah i won't throw this ever it's a bleeder as they say so it has too much of the color so you will have yellow fingers if you touch it that's why it's in the bag but believe it or not people really want this and will pay a good amount of money for those uh pa3s these are all pa3s it's my favorite putter to putt with and i do throw it as well i have a lot of these with this stamp some of them are in my practice bag or in my bag, um, but this is a really good run of PA3. I love it. It's a little bit straighter, I feel like, than the average ones. I also have a bunch of these team stamps, all kinds of stamps. These are my old putters that I used to putt with in 350G for a couple of years. Um, people really like these uh, old Europe stamps. These also go for a lot of money. Not that the money matters, but it's just something to talk about, you know. This, this is really gorgeous. I have some of these. These were made for the beginner set that were sold in Europe a few years ago. And uh, these are really nice and really rare. Okay, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this disc here. It's a 300 plastic PA3. Really beautiful. It has some swirls in it. It's a team stamp. I probably shouldn't be giving away a team stamp, but I don't think it matters. It's just one disc and it's for you guys. So comment, what is your favorite Prodigy disc? If you haven't thrown Prodigy, what is a disc that you would like to try out? What have you heard is a good disc? You know, whatever you think is a disc that you would like to try, let's keep going. And then this last bin up here, those back there are all beat up PA3s. Um, so yeah, nothing special about those. And then I have some A2s. I, I do like the A2. These are really beautiful. Core stamp. Second, I believe this was the second core team stamp ever made. Or core team disc ever made. Probably the most overstable A2 ever. This was a first ever A2 ever made. Not that I'm not sure if this specific one was the first ever made, but the first run, it was just to try out. I have never thrown it. I think it has some value. It's also really beautiful. Okay, then here's my practice bag. Let's just go through this. Okay, so what do I have here? This one actually doesn't belong here. Either does this or this or this or that. Those are all from my actual bag, actually. What the heck? Okay. 
I have D1s, I have 400G D1s, I lost one, I had five. They have the beautiful Airborne Owl stamp. I love the stamps that Airborne is doing. These are really overstable D1s. I have a couple of these lighter weight D1s that I talked about. Uh, I, I like to throw sidearms with these too, so that's why these are in my bag, practice bag, so I uh, can practice sidearms. Actually, some of the discs from here are missing, or they are um, in my car or in my bag at the moment. I, I do switch my discs a lot, and uh, I have discs literally everywhere. I have discs seriously everywhere. Those discs, you will hear about those. Isn't that gorgeous? What are these? Yeah, these are the old H3s. I know Mario would like these. Oh yeah, these are my favorite H1 V2s, my favorite Ron 750 plastic. Oh yeah, and this. This, okay, actually I can't talk about it, but look at it. Beautiful. And also this disc. Something I can't talk about. Actually, now that we are here, this was one of my first dies. I'll, I'll give this one away too. Okay, let's get back to my practice bag. H3V2s. I have these uh, Lauri Markkanen ones as I was talking about. And, geez. Okay. I don't think I need to say a word. Just look at it. Oh my god, seriously. Like what? This is seriously the most beautiful disc I have ever seen. Have you ever seen anything like this? This is not a tie-dye. This is a disc. This is H3V2. Wow. H1V2s, these are... Oh my god, I loved this. I, I went to Spain with this and these were so good. I'll prob ba probably bag one of these, even though they are 400. I like the 750 more, but uh, in Spain these were great. I have F5s, also last one of those, just basic stock stamps. I have F1s, also last two of these. Uh, seven, uh, 400G, also another Northman airborne stamp really funny. I like how it looks and a really good flyer also I have m3s. This is on the side of the Europe run of m3s These might be one of my favorite m3s of all time. This might even be in my bag in 2019 instead of those Europe ones By the way, I totally forgot. Happy New Year everybody 2018 was crazy. I want to thank all of you for supporting me the way that you did watch by watching these videos, by commenting, for voting, for, you know, all of the crazy stuff that went down all year. There was a lot of voting, I felt like, especially at the end of the year. Um, I hope you had a great 2018 and I hope all the best for you for 2019. We're actually done with my practice bag here. We're done with all of these discs here except some of the more overstable and force actually ever but however okay let's go back to the giveaway i want to give away these two discs it's 300 plastic pa3 and a 400 plastic d2 i made this die myself with my buddy casper um comment below what is your favorite disc from prodigy if you're not familiar with prodigy uh, just comment what disc you would like to try out. Uh, so do those things, subscribe to Prodigy YouTube channel, uh, turn on the notifications from the bell so you get all the notifications. I make videos every week. So happy new year, everybody, and I'll see you guys next week.